it's that season for our country again. You know, every four years when we decide who will run the United States of America. Now, let's be honest. In the back of your head, or maybe the front, you're thinking, is all this that big of a deal? I mean, can't the president only be president for eight years at most? That's not that long. Really, what's the worst that can happen in eight years? Well, besides making decisions that affect our economy, homeland security, foreign policy, and the like, there's something else the president we elect in November gets to do. He or she gets to appoint judges. And just so we're clear, Supreme Court and federal judges are appointed for life. As in, forever. Their influence on our nation continues many years past the term of the president who appointed them. Just to give you an idea, the current administration has appointed two Supreme Court judges, 55 U.S. Courts of Appeals judges, 268 U.S. District Court judges, and there are currently 90 federal judicial vacancies to be filled. These judges will serve on the bench, making decisions that affect life, marriage, the economy, and religious freedom in America until they retire or die. The upcoming election is especially critical because the current vacancy on the Supreme Court will be filled by our next president. In fact, the next president will probably appoint at least two and as many as four of the nine judges on the Supreme Court. Remember, these judges serve for life and the average tenure of a Supreme Court judge is 24 years. This court will make decisions that affect the definition of marriage, limitations on abortion, the right of private citizens to own guns, freedom of religious expression, public nativity scenes, war memorials with crosses, school choice, and many others. So your vote for a presidential candidate on November 8th is also a vote for the men and women of the judiciary who make decisions that will impact America for years to come. Don't leave the future of our nation to chance. Make your voice heard on Election Day. Pledge to vote. If you've not been attending our Wednesday night services, you're missing out. Our Wednesday night services at CMC are empowering, encouraging, and full of great teaching. Now remember parents, Kids Church meets on Wednesday nights. Jason and Sydney, our kids pastors, are providing your children with fun, engaging meetings that focus on growing your kids. We want to empower you to be the person that God intends you to be. See you on Wednesday nights for powerful teaching, awesome worship, and great fellowship. Howdy, everyone. A lot of you haven't had a chance to meet me yet, but I'm Ward Hawley, and I lead the Soaring Eagles Connect Group. And I'm Paul Toucher, and I help head up the Next Level Connect Group. We wanted to take just a second to let you know about an exciting political event that's coming up for our church. That's right, on the 1st of November at 6.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall, we're gonna have a meet and greet with members of the U.S. Senate and House, the Arkansas Senate and House, constitutional officers, and many others. This will be a great opportunity for you to come out, get to know these folks, and really get to know the heart of the candidate that you're gonna be voting for. It really will be. When I was reading through the Word the other day, I came across the scripture in Proverbs 29, 2, where it tells us that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. As the body of Christ, it's vitally important for our country that we cast our votes and elect godly men and women into office. That's right, Brother Paul. So come on out and enjoy this time of fun and fellowship with the political candidates who will be on this year's upcoming ballots, such as Mickey Gates, John Boozman, Susan Jones, and many more. It's going to be such an honor to yeah. have these men and women take their time and come share their vision for our state and more importantly for our country. That's right. So we hope to see you there on November 1st at 630 in the Fellowship Hall as we meet our candidates and get to know their hearts for our nation. We'll see you there.